you find something on a web page that you want to save or share or print, there's an obvious way to do it in Firefox, but it's not the best way. This is Allison from Computers.Mom, and in this video I'm going to show you two different ways to save web pages in Firefox. First of all, of course, let's open Firefox and go to a web page. I'm going to use 36 hours in Dublin from the New York Times because it's a nice long page with text and images and links and ads. It's a pretty complicated page. So how do we save this? The way people usually save web pages is they go up to the file menu and click Save Page As, or they use the equivalent keyboard shortcut. Now, when you do that, a dialog box comes up that allows you to choose the name for the saved web page, where it's going to be saved, in this case on the desktop, and most of all the format. See Web Page Complete? That's a problem. Because when we open that saved web page, what you see is all these tiny little files. These are all the different components of the web page we were just looking at, saved individually in a folder with the name of the page. It's kind of a mess. But the better way is just as easy. Let's go back to our web page and this time click File Print. I know that's counterintuitive, but just trust me for a moment. Then click PDF right here and Save as PDF. This allows you to take the same web page, same name, same location, and when you click Save, it creates a PDF file instead of all those tiny little files in the same place. So if we look at the desktop now, there's our PDF file. It's a single file. It's beautifully formatted for sharing or printing or whatever you want to do with it. It has everything you wanted and not all the stuff you didn't. So in most cases, that's all you need to know, how to create a PDF from the web page. But once in a while, you want to be able to edit the file you've created, which a PDF doesn't allow you to do, really. For example, if I find a recipe I like on the web, I want to be able to print it out, but I want to make the type really big so I can read it easily while I'm cooking. For those cases, I want to show you a second technique. Let's take this lovely recipe, Charlie Bird's Faro Salad, also from the New York Times. The print option on the web page will either give me the recipe on paper or as a PDF again, which is not what I want. So to get started, I first have to select the text that I want to keep by clicking and dragging with my mouse all the way down. If you sort of poke at the bottom, it'll scroll down until everything that you want turns blue and then release your mouse. See how all the text is blue? Now that I have the text selected, I need to copy it. There are a bunch of different ways to do this. On a Mac, it's Command-C. On a Windows computer, it's Control-C. Or click the Edit menu and then Copy. Or if you prefer, just right-click on the selected text and click Copy. Any one of those ways will work. Now that I've copied the text, I close the web page, open a word processor like Microsoft Word, and create a blank document. And now I want to paste that material in here, but I don't want to use regular paste because I'll end up with all the extra junk from the web page. I need to use Paste Special. And when I choose Paste Special, I get three options. HTML format includes all the other stuff from the web page I didn't want. Formatted text will give me just the text, but it will also have things like bold and italic. Or, my favorite is to choose unformatted text. That gives me total control of the way the document looks at the end. So I click OK, and here I have everything that I selected in the web page without the images or the ads or the links. And I can clean it up. I can just delete all the stuff I don't want. I can make it all look nice. It's pretty quick and easy if you know your way around Word. And when I'm done, I can make it all much bigger so that I can read it when I am cooking. Once you have the document looking the way you want it, all you have to do is save it and you're done. If I want to go back and add notes to the recipe later on, I can because this is now an editable file. So those are the two different ways to save a web page, either quickly and easily as a PDF or just a few more steps to create an editable file. By the way, remember that a lot of material on the web is copyrighted, so don't steal someone's intellectual property. So let's do a quick recap just to make sure everything's clear. There are two ways to save a web page in Firefox. If you want to create a PDF, just click File, Print, PDF, Save as PDF. Make sure you've got the name and destination you want, and then click Save. If you want to create an editable document, 
Click and drag to select all the text you want included, then copy the selected text using one of these methods, Command-C on a Mac, Control-C on a Windows computer, or Edit Copy from the menu, or right-click Copy from your mouse. Then open a new document in a word processor, Edit from the menu, Paste Special, Unformatted Text, Edit and Save. It's a lot of little steps, but none of them are hard. Please feel free to leave your comments and questions below and hit like if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.